Okay, here I'm going to show you some features of ground truthing we actually doing here. Um, there was a spectral geology model that was actually prepared and coming here to look at it. <clears throat> the process is first of all, <clears throat> the structural analysis was actually done. And for you, some of you that will be asking me, how did I know that there is something here or something like that? You know, um, first of all, we, we, we did some um, um, magnetic, aeromagnetic interpretations, did some satellite work, and we got some features of structures around here. So what we did was to come around here and move around to see what it looks like in terms of geology. And at the suffix here, we'll start seeing some, you know, lateritic crusts. Um, with a kind of um, um, some quartz that gave us some hope that possibly you know we should uh, be seeing some outcrop somewhere and that's it we started moving around and you can see the same thing and look at here I think this is a shear zone uh, you see you see an alignment or some structures here, you know, running in kind of north-west south direction. So, because the structures we interpreted here, some are running northwest, some are running northeast, but we are much actually interested in the northwest direction. Then, if you look at this, so we had to like follow it. That's the process, you know, when we started profiling, we started following across the northwest directions to see if we can. Um, I'm uh, cut across certain things here. So we came in contact with an interesting quartz, prismatic quartz. You can see this is it, and as if it was just dug out somewhere around here, up there. You can see how interesting this is. So this is an interesting indication of of uh, another huge mineralization around here. So you can see where. We dug it out before trying to see how what are the institute and typically it's an institute. See, it's an institute. You can see another one here. We got here, and as we go on, we we'll find out that this continues in a very particular direction. Uh, you can see it appearing here. And why it seems to show off here is because this place here is a lower. And we continued. See a much interesting one here. Wow. You can see why this is much interesting is that this has actually shown us um, a kind of dipping direction. Mm, apart from the striking, we can see the dipping direction also in the north east so this is also measuring here you can see this the vein is clearly right west and not only that if you can see the crystal quartz here at uh, this thickness on the suffix definitely you know this is an interesting thing uh, to look at at lower depth so the the depth the depth um sorry the deep here the deep direction here is much interesting in terms of uh, at least for us to know where to focus in terms of you know direction of drilling if we actually want to find out what is happening at depth and at this suffix here can be seen up to 0 0.5 0 0.4 um, meter thickness so having seen this we wanted to see if um, if um, what is happening at depth, how displaced it is from this particular um, direction. So we decided to do uh, a kind of a very close in um, survey. So we've used this as a point of um, a kind of a, a the center. Then we now started crossing across it. So you can see the setup we've done across it. And this goes more than 200 meters away from here now this is just three, three meter because we believe that the vein here 
uh, within two meter, three meter kind of vein. And you can see another structure also running in this direction. So now the quad that actually shown us um, an interesting point, a pivot point, but it's also very important that we look at, you know, the possible uh, thickness of veins within this area. So we started running, um, started to run something like uh, uh, IP here, um, SP and uh, ART. So this will be able to help us determine um, what is happening at depth. As we'll be able to see the image of actually what is happening at depth. So that's why you can see this um, a very close in um surveys here this is just three three meter and we are using about uh, about 60 electrodes still electrode and 60 um 60 non-polarization electrode that is about 120 um non-polarization i mean sorry all combined together electrodes in all and that is actually what we are trying to do here so now after this we'll be able to see the image of it. Now um, each of the points is being saturated because of the dry season. Um, there is need to saturate them for proper contact. Each of the points is being well saturated. And now so that is how it continues and it continues that way. That lakes will be able to look at want to look at what is happening from zero to 40 meter depth then we'll be able to see if actually what we saw the suffix so on the surface the outcropping surface has anything related to mineralization of you know in the classes of sulfides so that's actually what we are doing here um thank you and uh, thanks for watching